Today we're going over all the Air Jordans set to release this month in June and we definitely got some very interesting releases this month so let's go ahead and get started with the first shoe. We have the Air Jordan 1 Zoom Comfort a rose from Harlem. What do you think about this shoe? I actually kind of like it. What? I think it's going to be a good seller. I like this shoe. What's wrong with that? <laughs> uh, hey, buy what you like. These are going to... I don't know. These is hot. Yeah, I think, hot. I think... No, I think it's a good shoe. It's giving you that old look and a new look vibe to it. Yeah. I think they get rid of them laces. I think if they do the black laces. So you kind of got like a Chicago mm -hmm. color blocking yep. to it. Giving you the off-white ones. Yep. That vibe. With a mix of Travis Scott. And it kind of like is worth I, the originality, but they kind of going off of that. I know they kind of so, biting it. So you got that aspect. Right. And then you got the brown on the heel on the back end. You got the zigzag stitch around the tongue, the Nike leather on there, kind of wrapping onto the midsole compared to typically. Yeah, that's what's different right about there. that. I like that. Kind of overlapping on that area. You got the yellow laces. Now this is Zoom Comfort, so it's going to be like a way more softer bottom. The materials um, on the outsole, and you'll see that in the pictures. And is that they, stitching on the toe? Yep, so you got stitching around the area. I with think the little, this should do good. And then you got the green, kind of like the rose on one right. foot. So that's the black side right there on yeah. the left swoosh and then the other swoosh is going to be red. So it's kind of got different elements. So look at the swoosh I right here. I still don't like the right yellow. Right the bottom but... of the outsole. Give that McDonald's vibe. Right, right. <laughs> but I don't like the yellow, but it's a good shoe. popper for that. You know, it pops real good. So what is retail? And I, have they ever done the insole like that? I mean, the sole like that before? Yeah, they do the zoom. With the open? Yeah, they be doing like the oh, zoom okay. stuff. So it's just a different, that. like the <clears throat> classic Air Jordan 1 bottom, which is like the all red or the all leather or all red, all red, yeah. all rubber. <laughs> and then you got the, the air unit is inside, inside between it. the rubber and the outside. Oh, like the, the old kind of like the Yeah, so it's kind of encapsulated. But uh, yeah, so this is uh, $150. It's a women's release. I don't know what sizes they're going to do on these, but obviously with the women being the designer and everything, it makes sense um, of I, that aspect. I but, think on the women's side, it's a little high price for women. Why would I be saying that? 150 but, bucks. Because the shoe is so small. Like I want the... <laughs> like, like less materials. Yeah, it's less materials. <laughs> But I think if it was a man size, like a man, if they come up in a man size, 150 be cool. Yeah. Okay. So overall, it's a pass for me. It's a cop for you. Yeah. Okay. A uh, yeah. cop. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> so I was going to skip over it, but we got to go over all the ones. The Air Jordan 37 Low EYBL. I like it. What's wrong with it? I mean, go ahead. It's just a basketball shoe. But you know what? It kind of got me that, that uh, LeBron feel. Okay. The all yellow ones I was talking about I yeah, wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so... Yes, yeah, it's hard to find. On the but, first, they're coming out. So this is literally well, that's tomorrow. what I feel like watching a video today. But so this is like uh, this is like usually like the EYBL stuff is like typically like a PE kind of thing. They'll make it like specifically right. for the teams and stuff. Right. And then now they're starting to introduce it to be a more like releases and everything. Yeah. But this is like definitely like a hoop shoe. It'd be different if it had like I just EYBL hate this, like a low top. Yeah, and then they say they did like a Jordan 1 or 11 or 6 or 5 or whatever like that. Mm -hmm. Then those would be like the rare ones that would come out and then you'd be like, damn, you got to pay $1,200 for that pair. And these and coming out at what? Like 150 or something? Uh, no, retail is like 195 Jesus Christ. 195. You copying for 195? No, 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 no. I think maybe like 165. 165? I think it'd be okay. But so, 195 is a little steep. For me, overall, I think, and we'll see the we'll see the I think it's gonna sit a little bit tone of this month, but I think this is gonna be a definitely a month where a lot of people can save some money. Yeah. But that's a pass for me as well. <laughs> How they gonna save money? Because they ain't gonna, they be, gonna be buying shoes. nothing. <laughs> They'd be like, I'm good off of that. Good off Don't of need that. that. Don't pass, need that. Pass, pass. <laughs> okay, so this one is actually an interesting one because it's a kids' release. It's similar to the White Man 3s. Right. It's called Hide and Sneak, is what one of the names that they gave the shoe. But it gives you that elephant print vibe to the shoe. Um, and it actually has an elephant that goes along with it as like a little lace. Is he going to get the prints right this time? Well, the, yeah. I mean, these look uh, a little bit different. Those look good, though. Um, overall, the shoe looks solid. It's clean. Yeah, it you know, do look good. It's a good. clean shoe. Um, obviously a kid's shoe being white, it's going to get dirty, you're going to play in it, all those different things. Yeah. But, you know, so here's a little hang tag oh, right dope. here. Oh, that's dope. So it kind of gives you that's that. A, yeah. A, what Jordan Brand is also trying to do is like increase the educational side of the consumer for the kid and none of mm -hmm. like, oh, the elephant print, the elephant that goes with it. Right, like, right. Makes sense. And they sense. did different shoes that have like, it says like uh, black, red, bread, like uh, different things like that. And like, it's like little markings on There's the shoe boxes and stuff. When they start that? A couple years ago. 
So I don't remember I think him doing nothing like it this. It will. I mean, we don't look at as many kids releases. Oh, okay. But at the same time, they have been integrating it, and I do like how they've been adding the aspect to like yeah. tell that history and keep that like story going, and for the new generations that are coming up to be. But they should start doing that for the adults too. I know. Because like you know me, I like the hang tags, all the stuff to go yeah. with it, everything. I think that'd be. Dope. And it's dope because you could put it on the shoe, right. As well, like within the laces and yeah, stuff. Yeah, no, so. that'd be dope. They, hey, y'all need to do that for the adults too. I mean, I'm not personally rocking that big old elephant thing on my laces, but at the same time, I like the aspect of like yeah, how but it's I let all it. put together yeah. and everything. So for me, that's a cop. I would call right. that a cop in that yeah. situation. What would you rate those out of ten? I give them a solid seven. Solid seven. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like the white cement. You can't go wrong with yeah. those. So this one right here. This one's very clean. Low top twos. Everybody sleeping on the low Those top is twos. Clean. So what is Those this? Is clean. Yeah, the Jordan 2 UNC low. So um I don't it know. almost give me that dad vibe shoe. Yeah. You know, that real clean, not nothing too crazy. 160 Look. bucks is Perfect. the Perfect. retail on these. And that's the shoe right there. I think Perfect. these are fire. I think that's a perfect price point. It's gonna be great. And I think this shoe ain't gonna sit long. I think people are gonna like this shoe for the summertime. I think. I know people I don't like twos like that, I but, think it's, for but this the one summertime? In particular, for this one in particular, it is fire, it's clean, but it's still a Jordan 2, it's a low top. People are, you know, money ain't right for everybody to just be going out and buying all these Mo shoes. More lines? So I get that. They can get some lines. Hey. Three lines, two lines, you can get a pair of shoes. It's funny because we always, <laughs> you know, everybody in the community, I right. teach them how to get the money. Go more lines. If they want to get the money, that, you know what? Actually, I'm not even going to start emphasizing for that because yeah. I was like, you know what? I be trying to have empathy for the people like, oh, I don't got the bread. Bro, yeah. go get the bread. Go get the bread. <laughs> the dude said, I have no sympathy for somebody sitting on the couch. Right. <laughs> Hey, but sit here and watch these videos, though. <laughs> you ain't doing nothing. I nah, mean, come on. But no, nah, for real, though. People, yeah, you're right. I'm not even going to sympathize for it. No more. It's tight. At the end of the day, yeah. Go you get what go you get want. The if you yeah. want to get it, you want to yeah. go get it. So you got the UNC with the Jordan uh, Wings logo on the tongue with the rubber right yeah, there. Yeah, that's clean. On the, throughout Nike Air on the inside. Clean with the UNC vibes on the back end. It's just overall a clean shoe. That's a clean shoe. They did a very good job with that. What did I say the retail well, was? 160 well. bucks right yeah. here. So this is a cop for you. Oh, for sure. Definitely a cop. Yeah. All right, next up right here, we got DJ Sneakerhead Academy. That's the sponsor of today's video. Nice. We usually got sponsors from everybody else, but you know, we got a sponsor, sponsor. on ourselves this time. Yeah, So definitely. I got the community. I got, you know, we got the live stream meetups. We got giveaways every month. With speaking of that, I'm filming a video tonight. I'm gonna announce mm -hmm. the winner for the next giveaway. Uh, we got the full course. I got crash courses in there. We teach everything sneakers related yep. to hustle, the grind, real estate, finance, setting up businesses, all the different stuff. You're a part of the stuff. What do you think? I'll let you talk about the community this time in today's sponsorship. No, I'll just say what I see in there is just respecting people mm -hmm. and knowing that you have a, a voice and somebody can talk to, you can talk to somebody mm -hmm. and learn something. And there's people out there always just saying, oh, this, this, and this, and this. You're proof. Mm -hmm. your, your whole thing is proof of what's happening. So it's not like you, you can not see it. Right. Like if you get in the community and you see, you'll see it. Right. Like that's my biggest thing. You'll see it, and it's it's fun seeing everybody engage in the community mm -hmm. and comment and doing stuff and watching people hit on releases and helping each other on trades and doing different stuff yeah. like that as well. So there's more to just oh get the course or whatever. No, that's just another blueprint right. guideline to help you. And if you ever need to refer to it or anything like that, but there's a lot of things that'll help you know take everybody to the next level. And yeah. that's always my goal is to help everybody succeed because the more people succeed around me the more I can succeed as well. So and the less you gotta do. <laughs> this is better for everybody. So I don't know, if you guys wanna join, hit the link down below in the description, join the community, get signed up, or if you wanna just get the purchase, if you just wanna purchase the Hobby to Hustle program, I have that separate as well. But I always tell people hop in the community, that way you can get full engagement and get the program. But again, to each his own, do whatever you want. Right. I would love to see you guys on the inside. Now let's take it to the next shoe because we got some more terrible stuff to go over this month. For sure. <laughs> So this next one is called the Air Jordan 2 Low Look Up in the Sky or something like yeah. that. I forgot what it's called. But tell me this doesn't give you like that DJ Khaled vibe. Like it that did. Miami, like, and you I know think what I'm saying? They did good on the last one and they blew it on this one. I think, honestly, I think this one is solid though. I don't think it's, I don't think it's bad. Me? But I think it's solid. Uh, I think nah. it's solid. Like, 
this is a shoe that, oh, I can get this on, on a good price. I think they're gonna have good quality materials and everything like that on the shoe. Somebody's gonna be able to add this. It's a pretty neutral for the most part, and you can mix this with a lot of different fits. I think it'll be a solid shoe. I think it's gonna sit. I think the last pair will do a lot better, and I think that- The last the color, pair is better, for sure. I think the color tones is wrong, and you're gonna get messed up with outfits that you can wear with it. No, it's not. You just don't know how to pull off all the fits because you wear all black all the time. That's the thing too. <laughs> I do. So, that's the other problem right there. I wear a lot and then of black if you look, look up in the Navy. sky, this has to do. You see the skyline on the insole, which relates it. to what Jordan's it. original dunk and he was, and with, the, the, sky, with the poster and yeah. everything. So they align it all together, and it makes a lot of sense. And for a release like this, I think a summertime vibe. I think it's a solid shoe. I don't think it's the best shoe ever. I don't think, I think it's a solid sneaker. I think if you got this, you like somebody wouldn't be like, oh, those are trash. Like, I think nah, it's a solid nah, shoe. Nah, 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 they'll, they'll get you. You can get a side. I get a six. I'll give it a six. I'm not going to cool. give it no seven. So 160 bucks for those. Same thing on that. And as you can tell, just overall, as we've been going throughout the month, there's just nothing that's really popping like that. Right, right? and it's a lot of low tops. Yeah, a lot of low tops, because it's summertime. It's summertime. You get it, right? Now, I'm now a high top wearer year now round. I get it. These is clean, though. But you like the black fan on Travis Scott's Oh, 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 oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Okay, now you saying these clean. Yeah, what's wrong? Yeah, like, these are trash. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Those are clean. Okay, so the Indigo Haze Air Jordan 5 Low, the whole upper is 3M reflective. I'll wear these. So it's like a kind of like, I guess, you. I don't know. I mean, I already said the what color, but for you, I don't know if you can tell. I see it just gray. Yeah, so it's more of kind of like a purplish undertone to oh, it. Oh, okay. Uh, and then it's got like the yellows and everything on here. Yeah. And it just, and then it's like the gray on here is kind of like got a greener, bluish undertone to it. Okay. So it's kind of like, it's just not really meshing together well with me on the colors of the shoe. I don't know. And I, I mean, see it as okay. I think but you can't the sock liner, the sock liner is a little bit too much. But. I, I don't know. <clears throat> you be struggling with the colors too. So you might just be like, it's all gray shoe. It's all like, gray. It's it looks great. Gray. <laughs> <laughs> you colorblind, y'all. <laughs> so your best choice. So <laughs> on the bottom right here, you got gray, you got that milky uh, translucent outsole, right, and then you got the right. red jump man below that. And then as you can see from the reflective picture right here, all 3M, which means what? As soon as you wear the shoes, the crease is gonna come across the toe. You're gonna have issues with that. It's gonna look terrible. No. But it'll be cool the first time you wear it. After that, you're gonna be like, why did I get these? I got some that reflect and they look good. Which ones? The one that you tore up? Come on, not that pair, it's another pair. Yeah, then you probably <laughs> tore those up too. Uh, okay. I don't tear up all my shoes. So you like these more than the <laughs> low top twos? The ones that yeah, I Yeah, for the, sure. Okay, I'm going the other way around. For sure. I think if you gave those, so what would you You gave the other ones a six. What do you give these? I give them seven and a half to a close to an Hell eight. Hell no. <laughs> those is clean right there. Stop lying to the people. <laughs> hey, those is a cop. Yeah. Bro, for 190? Nah. Or maybe 185. <laughs> those is like 125. <laughs> Maybe. Well, I got a little different taste. My taste okay. is a little higher than this yours. This is yours. This is your higher? <laughs> higher? <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay. Right here. Wash black Air Jordan 1 OG high. Clean colorway. I think it's just another neutral shoe for somebody to have. If you uh, are looking for an entry level Air Jordan 1 for your collection yeah. and need to go with a lot of outfits. It's uh, definitely entry level. Dr dress up, dress down. Like I think yeah. this is for one of those type of sneakerheads. I think for people that have a lot of shoes in their collection, they're going to be like, ah, don't need those. Don't need really, you know what I'm saying? It so, looked like the materials was cool though. It don't look bad. But I, I just wouldn't cop that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be high. It wouldn't be high on my list. Would I want it? Uh, probably yeah. At a decent price, probably yeah, but I'm not gonna rush out to get it. I think no. I'm I'm getting more into this like, you got the you got like that sail color midsole, but then it's like pure white on the upper right. with the leather. Right. And I kind of just like it all to be one way. That's what I was talking about before. I know, I know. But yeah. for more and more now, I'm like, you I wish see it. This white like, was just it like it messes up the color the whole thing. better. Yeah. It didn't pop as much, so um, yeah. I don't know. I think it's a cool shoe. I think. Like I said, a solid entry level, especially with the black sock liner. You don't have to worry about it getting all dirty and nasty. That's everything. a plus. You know what I'm saying? So there, there's elements to this shoe that make sense. You know, black bottom. I think they should do that. more black dirty. sock liners on so, most of these shoes. I don't know. I think overall, solid shoe. I give it a six as well. For me, yeah, it's not yeah, a cop. Yeah. I think it's a cop for a some strong people. six. But I think it's one of those shoes that like you find for below retail. Yeah. Retail's 180 bucks. Next thing you know, Buck you're getting 50. for 140, 150. So yeah, 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 that's cool. So, I don't know, I think that's a, uh, another one definitely on the list. Now, next up right here, 
you know, I love the shoes with the meanings and the dope stuff to it. What's and the meaning? So, this one is the Air Jordan 2, the Wings Air Jordan 2. So, they have the Wings program, and basically, they use the money and then they put it into their scholarship foundation and they give right. it to all the kids and they put them through scholarships and put them in college oh, and all the different stuff. And then the kids get to go do Jordan brand experiences together and they become like this community. It's like a bunch of different stuff that goes along right, with it. Right. And they make it for at the end of the year for graduation and like all these different things. So, and they do different shoes every year and then everyone has like money that goes back to it and they do like premium exclusive ones, different stuff. Either way, this is one for this year. And I think it's solid. Originally, it's I was like, solid shoe. what the hell is on the side of the shoe? And then I was like, are those wings? And I was like, And this? with the meaning on it? Yeah. It's good, a strong nine. I, I mean, think, I think it's dope. Everything it's doing is clean shoe. I mean, you know us, we like the kids. Yeah. You know, we want to help kids and everything else a lot. So that's it right there. I mean, so it's clean. A hundred or no, 210 bucks is the price. Right. So typically Jordan 2 is going to be a little bit cheaper, like 190 or something right, like that. Right, but they got to donate so some money. Add that, yeah. and then there's, there's premium stuff that they're going to add to yeah. it or different designs that might cost a little bit more for that or whatever. Right. And I think I'm not 100% uh, sure because I didn't do all the research yet. But Howard is uh, one of the people who was like one of the founders of Jordan Brand, the OGs back in the day. Uh -huh. I think the H was for the sock line or the insole right here, representing him and him being a collaboration of this year's project and stuff. Oh, okay. But again, I didn't do all the research, so they can correct me in the comments or whatever. They're they like gonna to do, do that, right? Yeah, I don't, I, I don't, I didn't look into everything yet. But um, no, it's this. This is definitely. Uh, well, a thanks for letting me know. Right. <laughs> That's why I don't, I'm like, it's better to not look into everything because then they could tell us and right. we could all right. have a conversation and stuff. But I, I like how they added that as well, if that yeah. is what it's for, um, just to kind of like show homage to him as well. And no, the that's, impact that's a good to, looking shoe. And it got his like with the, the H, H on the back. back. And then you can see like the, it's a kind of like that metallic, like yeah. that candy paint on the back. You know what I'm saying? It's not just yeah. like that matte or like that, that less finish to right. it. So it's got that sparkle to it. I think, I think this is a solid this shoe. This is a solid shoe. They did a good job on the shoe. Now, this is one of those shoes that's like, it might be one of those situations where it like comes out at retail and it's kind of just sitting. And people don't know the and story. And then later it's going to go up. And then later it might go up or you might get it for a good deal. Yeah. But I think uh, we've but seen you, white and green shoes already come out when it comes to shoes. Well, I've seen, oh, we've seen shoes like that. They sit there for a while. Mm -hmm. And then two years later, like, boom. You're like, what the hell? You want me to tell you something that's going to go up? What? White cement threes. Mm -hmm. Lightning Force, Thunder Force. It's all going up? They're all going to go up. Uh -oh. And they're sitting right now, <laughs> just above retail. Even buy what you like, but buy investments buy, too. Buy wise decisions. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. There's some shoes that are going to rise. Yeah. And people are sleeping. But we talk about that in the community right, too. Like, right. If people want to get in. Y'all be sleeping them. on the community. Y'all better get in if you want to know the insides. Hey, I'm just here to help, man. Man. <laughs> it's plenty of money out there for everybody. Okay, so this one right here is the jason tatum one right so you are very like wishy-washy when it comes to it, it just it's, comes to the colorway really. it's a colorway it's and like, this is one of the ones i do not like <laughs> <laughs> this is horrible <laughs> it's a horrible colorway i feel like i like the the style of the shoe itself that's because it the, looks like the jordan 11 low but the colorway sucks the ie um i think <laughs> i think for me yeah i'm definitely not copping these I think that they have different stories behind all the colorways that they do, just like they do with Jordans and everything like that. Right. Uh, but we're not in the era right now of people wearing like legit performance basketball shoes, like in the street. Right, outfits. right, right. You know what I'm saying? Remember the era? Well, I don't know if you remember, but like, you know, early to- You said I'm that old, you don't remember. <laughs> no, I'm just saying like, like 2010 to 2015, uh -huh. this was the era of like, people was rocking KD4s with jeans. Right. And LeBron's with jeans and Kobe's with jeans and different stuff like right, that. Like, right. not just sweats. Like, people was pulling off real fits with these type of shoes. Right. I'm not seeing people pulling up with some denim on with these type of shoes. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're like, am I gonna hoop in these or right. not? Like, right. which one is it? Right, right, right. So, I'm like, there's That's a lot of truth to that because people didn't switch up. Yeah. But okay, retail 120 bucks though. That's pretty good. That's solid. To for any pair of shoes, damn near. That's solid. That's pretty. I'm still ain't copping them, but. That's a good price. It's rare they come out for 120. That's solid. So before I show you this next low top, I got to show you the low top that I just got. And I got another one in the mail, but I'll show you those when I get them. Cause what yeah, you didn't got? I got some shoes right here. This is clean. This colorway is dope. Gator one lows. Like this, I like these. I don't know about <laughs> y'all, but I, 
I'm a um, blue person, I like royal blue, like really cobalt yeah. blue is my really my color. But, but we had this debate. Remember we was talking about what was it? Uh, blue and orange and or this, blue and yellow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like which one looks better? But this blue and orange right here look good. I don't like orange, but when it comes to these type of like and then look at that sad night too there. overwhelming. It's fire. It's fire. So yeah, I just picked those up. I was just showing you and this is more gray, huh? Uh, no, it's like a tan. It's kind of, it might have like a slightly well, color so. to it, but it's mainly like a tan. It's I not white, white. Yeah, like this matches the midsole and everything. Yeah. But either way, another pickup. I'll make sure I get a review Ooh. for you guys as well. Again, if you're in the community, I've already shown you guys these, and I'm actually helping somebody in the community get a pair of PE soon, so stay this tuned. This is for clean. Y'all better step up your game. Man, we, ah, bro, man, I'm just thinking about it. We got to, we got some more stuff. Look, hold on. What, what? They got oh, the, the gator in there? Yeah, in there. <laughs> They got everything. Oh, y'all can't see that. Watch on, the, watch on the, the review bottom? later. Yeah, watch on the review. These are fire. Those but is yeah. clean. So this is the low top uh, that's coming out. So we saw the other one. Remember, it was a high top, and it had the white with the elephant right, print. Right. And this one's got the black with the elephant print. So I think this is a, a you know better I mess color. with those. This is a better colorway. Yeah. I think these are way better. Yeah. Uh, for the low top. So it's called the Black Cement Low Top OG One. Retail is hundred and forty dollars, which I think is kind of stiff. But you it think is so? For low top. You gotta remember, Jordan ones is the cheapest ones to make, so they keep raising the price each year. Ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, they used yeah. to be one forty, then one fifty, one sixty, one seventy. Now they one eighty. Now the low tops, remember, they used to be like ninety, ninety five, hundred, hundred and ten, two, one, one twenty, one. But the thing is, is people still paying for them. Yeah, I know, and I get it. There's inflation, all different types of stuff right. that goes along with it. Right. And yeah, either way, yeah. The Those shoe is clean stuff. though. So colorway right here you got the kind of like that chicago style of color blocking you got the elephant print in that place where the red would be and then where the white would be you got the black and this i think right. it's like kind of like a suede material and then you got a, it looks like a white leather swoosh uh air jordan wings logo on yeah. the back end nike air on the tongue black on the sock liner and the tongue yeah. and the laces those is those is it right there with the black laces so this is too, a cop for sure i think they get I a full think, nine i oh man i'm trying to think is this a shoe that i want to wear this summer I think. Well, you gotta get it. Once I get it in person and see, said, and then I'll know. See, see, this is the thing: is your bounce case said, "Do I want to wear these this summer?" You ain't even got the shoe yet. I get the shoe. <laughs> <you know that. laughs> Other people are like, I hope I can cop these this summer. <laughs> Bruh, you gonna find them? Uh. <laughs> it don't be that complicated. People are like, it's hard. I'm like, no, it's, it's not. No, it's not. If you do your work. Do the work. Do the work. Do the time. It's going to happen. <laughs> okay. Next up right here. White infrared. So the Jordan 6s, mm -hmm. the infrared 6s, the black and infrareds that we wear all the time. Right, right. And then they got the white one, the white leather with the infrared on there. Right. Okay. So this is the 6 colorway, but they put it on the Jordan 7. Okay, so I as see. you can see right here. Oh, uh, yeah. It looks like the 6s. Yep. Got the translucent outsole, yep. all the different stuff. Yep. But they made it a Jordan 7 instead. Yep. So... What it's do you think about cop. these? You think that's it's a cop? It's a cop. I would say, yeah, with the gun bottom. Yeah. For me, I say it's a pass. Because it ain't a six. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. That's all. <laughs> it's a pass because it's a seven. <laughs> I love sixes. A... <laughs> I love sixes. You buddy. It's the same matter. <laughs> nah, it's not a six though. <laughs> that's the thing. <laughs> Oh my god. I think god. these are not going to sell out. I think they're going to be easily accessible. And if you want them, you shouldn't have a problem getting the shoe. And it is what it is. Oh, when I get these this summer, I'll tell you. <laughs> are you going to think about if you want to wear those or not? <laughs> so, yeah. Oh. Uh, retail on these is uh, 100 or 200 bucks. Ooh. What you think? But I still say it's worth it. You got the Cardinal 7s? I think I... I you yes. like the all-white no, Jordan they're worth 7? It. Yeah. They're clean. Okay. Yeah. You can bust those out with a nice fit, real clean somewhere. Yeah. And then everybody be like, okay. But I wouldn't, you know me, I would wait, I would get them, and then I wear them like next year. Yeah, I'll be the same way. Yeah. Right. Unless there's like certain ones that I'm like, all right, I done doubled up on it, so I'm yeah. going to wear one now. But I like but to like, bust them out when everybody else don't have them no yeah, more. Yeah. And then you bust them out all fresh and clean, and you wear those. I'm already known. Like those low tops I wore to the uh, game. Which one? Uh, those all whites we wore to the, um, with the patent leather front the uh the the white all white patent leather front and i wore them to the basketball game to the les swap thing what game the les swap you warm yeah the les swap the les swap when we was watching Bronny and all them play. yeah i don't remember everybody was like oh you got those and i was like yeah. you bought them for me in new york <laughs> i don't remember 
I think you got them in New York. Oh, you're talking about the the low top ones. No. Uh, I don't know. No. Oh. Just does again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the camera died, but I figured but it out. It was a legend blue eleven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> all right. So this is the last one. Okay. You think this is the best one? I don't know which one. Nah, it's not that good. What no, it's it? solid. It's solid. It's solid. Wait, wait, wait. But it's, it's just, it's, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. Jordan. Yeah, three sets of twos coming out? It's so many twos. It's like, a, oh, what's that? Why three or four different twos? low top twos. They're on yeah. the two agenda. They were on the agenda. So this is the cherry wood. All right. So first off, first off, <clears throat> the cherry wood colorway. Right. We need that to come back on the Jordan 16s. ASAP because that colorway is one of the greatest in the ginger. The colorway 16, on this one. That's uh, these colors. These colors. I know, but I'm saying on, we need on that this. on the cherry. We need the cherry wood 16s to come back. We need the ginger 16s to come back. What that's, ginger? Yes. Oh, gender. Ginger. Oh, <laughs> ginger. They're so dope. They're so dope. Watch when I show you, you're gonna be like, these are fire. Okay. So, Jordan too low. Cherry wood retails 150 bucks. I'm not too fond of the color though. I like think that. it's a cool again. All these twos, all these twos are just like they're cool. They're solid. Like the ones that are light blue ones is those crazy. are better. Those are better. Those is crazy. I but like. I think that. I think this is another cool shoe. Like you could pull a little fit with this. You know what I'm saying? If it was black. Oh my gosh. I think this is all shoe. I think material. No, it's clean. Away. It's clean. I think it'll be all right, but I don't think nobody gonna rush out to see. When it. you have a simple color blocking pattern like this, mm -hmm. it's kind of hard to fill. You can literally take any color, throw it on there, and it's like it's solid. You can't go wrong, and that allows you to sell to the broad audience and get a lot of people to buy right, the product. Right. Because on shoes like this, this isn't the hype beast sneaker. No, this is for the sure. one where it's like we're gonna make crazy units of this shoe. We're gonna sell a bunch of these, even though we're selling it for cheaper than the other ones. We're also gonna sell two to three times more than the other ones. Right. And then we're gonna get our bread we're on the back our end, bread. and then we're gonna run it up. So yeah. this is kind of that strategy of that too, and make yeah. it broad and make it easy for a lot of people to cop. It's available. All they walk in the store, they can buy Jordans instead of getting a different pair of Nikes or whatever the competitor I just, is. I don't know. So, I don't get excited. I don't get excited. I know. For from it. the sneakerhead standpoint, I get that. But I think from from I that think, side, I think though if you're just wearing them, like you like, I'm gonna just throw these on, some throw on, and you're just gonna go somewhere. Yeah. Like, no, nah, you'd be straight. Yeah. You know, like I'm just going. to, It ain't like, oh my god, I'm pulling up to dinner and though somewhere. Oh, for sure, I'm pulling up and, and be cool. I'm solid. Yeah, I'm solid. Steakhouse. Please. And some people say they look like bowling shoes. We we mess with bowling <laughs> shoes. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, it's a it's a clean shoe. Um, I think it's a. I would say. Was overall, it coming out? What price? It's 150 bucks. They come oh, that's cool. Like the end of the month. Um, that's definitely cool. Put overall, some, just some rockers. You I would say put it's on. a cop. I think, I think, when you think of all these shoes for the month, you know, like three pair on there. You can say maybe that you might have to rush out and get. But I don't think you got to rush out to get any of these. Realistically, I think it's a really easy, really easy month. Like I said at the beginning of the video, save you some money. Month. Save some money. Um, and if if you there's two things you can do you cannot get the money you could you could you not get to the bag you could save money or you could just make more money and i prefer to make more money oh, yeah me. <laughs> that's but, me go make more money so then you get what you want if the, yeah if the, whatever choose whichever one you want you know everybody's got their own prerogatives do whatever you want to do but stop being lazy <laughs> <laughs> stop being lazy come on <laughs> Get up! Get up! Get to work! Oh my god! <laughs> if you ain't getting 10 hours a day and you complaining you broke, it's your fault. You better hey, be getting at hey, least 10 a day. That's the old head mindset. You know me, I work smart, not hard. So hey. I mean, find a balance between the two. That's all but, I'm saying. But, but, think about this. <laughs> Here's the balance. This is the balance. You work smart. He work hard. I work hard. And we balance it. But check this out. If you work as many hours as I do, and put in the same out, imagine with what you do, what would you be having? <laughs> I still gotta play my video games. <laughs> <laughs> I need to have my relaxed time. You can make, you can, I ain't gonna put a number on what he make, <laughs> but I'm gonna say you can make X amount of dollars in 30 minutes. I know. So if you went hard like that for eight hours, cause he, he only worked like, I ain't gonna tell you how many hours a day he worked, but but no, I'm saying no, if you, tell him. you can tell him. If you I went, don't care. if you went hard like that for the eight, at least for eight hours, yeah, 
Like, oh my God. Now see, I like to, I got my balance. You I get work hard, balance. efficient. Get up about 11. <laughs> <laughs> he get up about 11. Be oh. like, oh, I'm good. No, no, he don't get, he get up <laughs> at seven o'clock because of a shoe release. And then I go back. And then he go back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> then I get up at 11. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, yeah. nah, you got a good life, man. You keep doing what you're doing. You work hard for it. <laughs> this didn't show up by accident. Y'all out there, same thing. You know I always got something to say. Uh, Y'all out there doing the same thing. You you progress and you see your numbers. You keep moving. You keep pushing it. Don't let nobody get in your way. Yeah. Don't right. nobody tell you you can't do nothing. Just keep doing it. The proof of being the pudding. You only got to prove to yourself. Don't prove to nobody else. And if you'll be all right. And like I got to tell people before, when they want to get in the community, not only do they have access to me, everybody <laughs> in the community, my dad be in the live streams too. I jump in there. He be in there to help my mom, yep. everybody. My mom's helped people set up their businesses. So many different things on the back end that people do not right. realize. Right. That not only me, it's my more family, my yeah. friends my homies people are in the community helping out however we can that's yeah, our goal sure. is to help everybody so it's i don't know it's funny because people watch the videos and they're like bro i think i should join i'm like bro nah. do what you want to do at the end of the but day but people people we done met in the community be traveling with us going out to eat with us and kicking out yep. like learning more inside stuff everything like there's so many different things to this like we come to your town yep. like know you there like oh let's drop through whatever yep. else case yep. there's a lot of things that has happened so i'm just saying y'all get in there and really like be a part of it mm -hmm. and you'll get something out of it. But yep. you can't just go, oh, they ain't doing nothing over right. there. You gotta participate, you gotta engage, yeah. you gotta have a good time. And yeah. then, you know, yeah. we'll, we'll yeah. definitely help whenever we see somebody working hard for something, so. Yeah. But yeah, we gotta go, we're talking a lot. Anyway, uh, tell them to subscribe to your channel. Hey, subscribe to his channel, it's getting bigger. Y'all see that? It's yours. <laughs> <laughs> My channel ain't been doing nothing. Man, I'm so excited for you, man. You've been making it. Your channel is booming. <laughs> Y'all see this channel? Like, it's booming. It's all right. It's all right. It's booming. <laughs> all right. I'm out of here. All right, y'all. We out. <laughs> I would never let you down and send my DNA. Hey, the hey, only choice I like to make, what I'm aware it's today. One of those. I would never let you down and send my DNA. The only choice I like to make, what I'm aware today. I was made for it. It's in it.